take a picture. I went in there to they said Isaiah and them put her in the game room. They locked her so that they wanted to. And look how they had her. I had to take a picture. I said, now, let me see. Why that. did they put the doll in there like that? <laughs> Austin is just trying to eat his breakfast incognito. She tossed it. No, she, she was she was she it. She dropped it. Oh. Come on, let's go. She doing like BJ. She getting bad habits. Bad habits. Habit. <laughs> She's going to the pool with the girls. Hey. She's having pool day with now. Don't drop that camera. Look at Bree having pool day with the girls. With the girls. Now, when I was younger, y'all, y'all let me know if this is true for y'all too. But I only had one swimming suit. <laughs> How is it my nieces and daughter came to the pool and to the beach every time with a new swimming suit? They had like three or four a piece, I guess. I had one swimming suit. <sighs> It is raining, guys. Me and Racy's making a quick getaway. We're going to a produce market here in Florida. We're trying to find our way. <laughs> we'll take y'all a long way. We were on the hunt for soursop. That was our main goal in coming here, but we saw everything but soursop. Interesting things we saw was this green tea ice cream. And then this Rambutan. This is such an interesting little fruit. So we both got some just to see what it tastes like. And a few other things, of course. It's called a Rambutan. This is Rambutan. Rambutan. So I just cracked it open. All you do is stick your fingernail in there and pry it open and it pops open. There's a uh, banana. This is a mango. And we're going to taste this. All right. You ready, Mom? Mm-hmm, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta try it, dude. Okay. What is it? It ain't about the time. It's a fruit. From what country? An Asian country. Oh, they good? Ooh, ooh. <coughs> I can't tell if I like it or not. It tastes like grape. Uh -huh. It tastes like grape a little bit. Is like who? The inside of a grape. Grape a little bit. Yeah, I kind of tastes like a grape. I just brushed my teeth. So, yeah, I can't um, eat none of that. Mm -hmm. I can't no, wait, get the fruit off that. Y'all can't eat that all day. Y'all can't eat all day. Yeah, an hour. Yeah, give us right after. No, brush your teeth and right after you can't eat nothing. I'm cool on the Robert's time. It was a nice experience. I can't do orange juice afterwards. Uh-uh, can't do orange juice. That's it. Got a sapate, but I ain't gonna open until we come back. I think this is the one that tastes like chocolate. Mm. But it's a fruit. Oh, okay. one drink. Like that. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's good, it's good. But is it tangy, sweet? Uh, it's a mild sweet. Tastes like a grape. Not overly sweet and not, it ain't tart at all. 
So you, you haven't had these before? I've I had these before. before. It's one o'clock! Oh, it's a seed and stuff. I am ready. When we come back. all loaded up and went to Deezerland Action Park in Orlando. It is huge. It's the size of about 15 football fields and it has the longest indoor go-kart track. It has um, a bowling, a bar and restaurants, and many restaurants rather. It had 300 video and arcade games. It has video gaming. It has trampoline parks, laser tag maids, bumper cars, and so much more. We had so much fun. I'm in here. <laughs> Cam is a vlogger in the making. He's going to be doing his edition of mic Up on Jalen's camera. One thing y'all, when we are all together, we are big kids at heart. And that was, that was basically from my father. We could just act like 12 year olds, all of us, and just have a good time. But I let them have that go-kart rating. And I was good, just on the sidelines watching. All right, let's see what you can do. All right, got to be ready to pass them when you can, Elena. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Look at Lyric G. Lena, boy. She's trying to reach that pass. It wasn't just the big boys that were out there racing. Reese was out there too, y'all. She was so little in the seat, I didn't even see her until after the race. Reese and Chris, there's Jordan, there's BJD, there's Austin, there's Isaiah, and there's Chris again, and there's Rob. <laughs> Let's go, Mom. Hey, 
Yeah. yeah. Don't freaking play, D. Oh, Don't. You know what? That's so weird. Ooh, that's right, did it. Right. You have come on down. Oh wait. Oh. Let's do the sound a bit. Come on. are here at food truck heaven here at tracy's place <laughs> hey i'm Jalen, j doll and i'm here with my family here at the food truck <laughs>
refrigerator this morning. We guess. <laughs> the ladies are up making breakfast this morning, and this is what we find. It is Sunday morning and the women are cooking breakfast. It is a special day for the men. We are in the kitchen doing something special for them and the kids too. <laughs> we have biscuits, pancakes, toast, bacon, sausage, shrimp and grits, potatoes, so much more. Daddy, uncle. Oh, we had a bathroom sink that had oh, a water fountain. You push, press it, and the water come up. Our basement, we had a nice basement. We remodeled our basement. Um, but anyway, Mama was a campfire leader. She started off with Blue, Bluebird Group, was my group. Uh, we started off, I was seven years old, so my friends were the girls that Mama started this Bluebird Group was seven. And then when we left Cincinnati, I was 12. So I had this core of friends that I grew up with. And we used to come to our house every week. But dad used to, after every meeting, I think we met on Tuesday, it seemed like, after school, they would come to our house. And dad would take everybody home. We'd put them in the car and drop them off and stuff. And everybody loved Mr. Wilkes. Mm -hmm. and, and people used to tell me, I wish I had a daddy. Mm. Like your dad, mm -hmm. and then oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, don't I, do know, it. I don't know. Don't do it. The dad only got to the eighth grade, mm -hmm. and he couldn't read good. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people didn't know it, mm -hmm. cause daddy, cause daddy studied the newspaper. He could read, but stuff would start swimming on him as he was. Yeah, studying. he said, "I just can't get it," and I remember being little and. And that's him. another thing. And he said, if you could, you'd have been woo -hoo. right. Yeah, Off he said, <laughs> I just can't get it. And I can remember going to, like, when we get out, like, sometimes, like, after y'all get older, like, man, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. We get to a hotel, and you know, you get to get out and go in and check in at the desk. And I would go with him so that mama didn't get out. And uh, they pushed the paper at you to fill it out. And I, I fill it out, you know, like that. We mm -hmm. fill it out. Cut for. Mm -hmm. But dad used to say different things like, um, like somebody would ask him to read, oh, I don't have my glasses with me, or something mm -hmm. like that. He would never have his glasses with him. But he was like, he worked at the pharmaceutical plant. But he said he could understand the words, um, yeah, those bigger words. He knew what to, you know, how to function on his job. And they made him, what, a co foreman? Lee. Yeah, bro. Lee. Yeah. Lee compression. Yeah, well, he didn't, I guess he didn't have to do the work, but he just basically, he said, I told him what to do. And then another <laughs> foreman, he did all like the paperwork and stuff. So and I thought that was strange that they did that for him. Yeah. And um, Tracy was born. I had been the baby for 10 years. And I can remember when she, when she, uh, when she came, I liked her. <laughs> but <laughs> it was like, when the baby came, everybody was like, oh, and I kind of felt like pushed, kind of like, you know, like, why are you looking at her like that, you know? <laughs> and so he saw how I was, and he came over, he told me, he said, we got a new baby. He said, but you are always going to be daddy's number one baby. Oh. And we got another baby, too. Oh. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember him just, oh, just making everything special. Just like when um, my school, when I was in fifth grade, we went to... California, him and mama went as chaperones. My parents always went mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. with us. He helped us uh, raise money 
he was over the pop bottle drive and we went, he got a lot of kids and we just went all over the neighborhood collecting pop bottles. He had a, uh, we had See a, a bottle on the side of the road under a bush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even like for the campfire, we had a carnival in the backyard. He fixed, we had a double car garage in the backyard. He fixed it up as a smokehouse, a haunted house. He hung back. Mr. Jones and Mrs. Jones up from the ceiling. <laughs> he made, we had a, um, a bucket of guts. Uh, he said it was guts, but it was spaghetti. So we pushed them through in uh, grocery carts. Um, and he pushed them through all wild and stuff. And we had flashlights in there. He go through, you know, scam. But it was, Daddy just made everything special. Mm -hmm. And then I can remember when I was 10, I caught myself I was going to run away from home. And I get that Huffy bike, that orange and yellow Huffy bike. And I'm sitting on the front steps in Cleveland. He goes, he said, wait, 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 wait. He goes to the backyard, to the garage, get my bike, bring it to the steps. He said, here, you're going to need this. He said, it's hard out there walking. <laughs> and I said, I said, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> he said, okay, I'm going I'm to put your bike up there and you can get it in the morning. <laughs> and we didn't speak on that no more. We're going nowhere. I was 16. I went to Florida where they Amy now. And I just remember enjoying myself but missing my mama and my daddy and when i got back the first thing i said was daddy coming out the back door and running and i we ran each other and i jumped up on him and i heard he said you ain't gonna never go nowhere for no two weeks no more like that <laughs> he said that was just too long and then when i moved when i got married he said well my daddy gonna let you go he said but you can come on back home and visit you can come visit and i remember him telling my husband he said uh oh, you know where you got her from. He said, do you ever feel like you don't want her? He said, don't lay a hand on her. He said, you feel like you think you want to hit her anything? He said, don't. He said, because I, he said, I don't fly, but I will get on a plane with my crowbar. <laughs> he said, you know where you got her from? He said, bring her back. He said, oh, I'll come get her. <laughs> then Mrs. Oh, and then wait a minute. One time I bought a, wait a minute, I bought a, I bought a leather coat. I had just paid off my credit card. And I was going through the store and I seen this long leather coat. <laughs> and um, I bought it. So I brought it home and later on I showed it to my husband. He said, you just paid off your credit card. I said, it was on sale. <laughs> He's all, you taking that, that coat back. So I called daddy the next day. I said, daddy, I said, I bought this coat. And buddy said, I got to take it back. He said, no, no. <laughs> he said, I'm going to for this girl. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had a good day. Very hands. Sounds like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. One more yeah. minute. <laughs> we was driving down to, he took us to the, uh, <laughs> the last chapter of the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went down to the riverfront one day. We was in the van. Oh. And we were driving. Daddy was looking for a park. And so he's going down the slant. And there was a park all the way by the water, yeah, which I couldn't see. And which is set like this. But it, and it was set here yeah, like this. On public and land. he was laughing. Like, I'm going to take y'all to the lake. Like, and I... <laughs> And so he driving, and I said, Dad, because, you know, I was scared of water. I was like, Daddy, is she alive? Daddy, hey. I said, Daddy, you getting close to the water. I said, Daddy, Daddy. I said, Stacy, I mean, Tracy. Oh, I opened up that back door, the van door, and I said, jump out like that. We jumped out. <laughs> yeah. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> I um, Papa was my granddaddy, and he was grand. Like, uh, did everything. I got to go everywhere. I got to go to the conventions. I got to ride in the van. I got to go to the garden. But Papa couldn't stand me because I showed up everywhere. <laughs> he would be on Northcut, out of gas, who rides down in the yellow car. He <laughs> reached me. You think he, nobody's gonna know that he ran out of gas and got to walk to the gas oh, station. Yeah. Gas station. <laughs> Let it be two or three weeks or a month later, you run out of gas again. <laughs> Who's gonna show up? <laughs> uh, Not show up because he called. Right, just yeah, show up. I just happened to show up. He got busted, huh? Yeah, every right. time he would always run out of gas. So that's why when y'all be riding around and be low on gas, I don't want to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> walking down the street with a gas can, like no. So I was like, let's keep my gas on full. He taught me that. Mm -hmm. Always keep gas in the car. Um, at the garden and. When he got sick, 
Greasy, I need you to come over here at night to do the machine, to set up his dialysis at night. So he entrusted me with that. Um, but the one time you went over that morning to wake him up to stop the machine, and you said you stood at the door when you was like, Papa, Papa. Yeah, you like thought if he you was ain't answering, like, um, and then you called me and said, "Uh, did you go over to the house this morning?" <laughs> <laughs> you spent the night, so when you got up to leave, you was telling them you were leaving, yeah. and he didn't say nothing. And you asked me, "Did I go over?" Because I came over later to stop the machine. That was the few days before he passed. Like, that was a couple yeah, of weeks before, before he passed. passed. He made sure that we all got together to come down to eat. Whether it was come over, we gonna have some. It wasn't just we're going to have burgers. It's, we're going to have some rally burgers. Or it's Whopper night. Like, we would have a night where we just ride through the drive through Give me 20 Whoppers when they were 99 cent for a rally burger. And we're going to get a rally burger and three large fries. And we all about to split these. This, but we all Dairy Queen. Last time he made his breakfast was on a Friday night before he died. Let me tell my oh, story. I thought he was going to get that we had, we had a sleepover. <laughs> right the weekend before he died, we had a sleepover. And he invited us over. We all had on the kids. We had our pajamas and everything before he passed. And he fixed breakfast for dinner. On Friday night. On that Friday night when grandma was gone and he was like, she gone with her little sisters and they silver slippers. <laughs> 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 and we had our, we had, he made jello. I don't know if he might not have put no, you, he might not put jello in there because Jalen didn't like fruit in her jello. But we had jello and breakfast that night. Um, but he made sure. And it was like, make, to me, I thought he knew it was his time and he wanted to make sure he got to have a sleepover with all the grandkids. And Tracy, I think, was y'all there? I didn't spend the night, but I came over, over for, the evening. for breakfast. If I, if I borrow money from Papa, as long as I attempted to pay it back, he gave it back. Mm -hmm. But Adrian and DJ, like if they just would know if they paid it back, I would just give it to you. But like he said, he wanted you to work it off or whatever to, you know, <laughs> act like he was going to pay it back. Um, but I was, I would always I'll give my money back. back. He would give it to mm -hmm. me. And he always I said, I love you. Like, uh, Papa, I love you. So yeah. if nobody was going to tell you that they love you, Papa was going to say, Papa, I love you or Papa is sorry. So he would apologize when yeah. he felt yeah. that he was in the wrong or yeah. he hurt my feelings or something. Yeah. He, um, he had to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a time going around talking about my father. We were talking about him for a good hour or hour and a half. Everyone, uh, we went around the table and everyone got a chance to say something about them that they remembered and loved. Uh, the only ones, Ashlyn and Isaiah, did not get a chance to meet uh, their grandfather and great-grandfather. Isaiah is a grandchild, the youngest grandchild. Um, I was pregnant with him when my father passed. I had two months to go and he passed. Um, Ashlyn didn't, uh, had another year, uh, so she didn't meet him. Uh, and he didn't meet any of the great, great grandkids. My mother got a chance to meet all of them except Little Miss One-Year-Old Breland. And oh my goodness, they just would have loved on all of them. So anyway, we gave uh, the fathers their Father's Day cards, wished them a happy Father's Day. And y'all, then we went on to Cocoa Beach. Hi, Jordan. Hey, you. Uh, looking all Miami Vice looking. Super special. You know. Okay. Look special. I like, uh, do you remember the old Miami Vice? No, but I know I'm trying to get my Mike Lowry on. <laughs> Sunday, Tracy's Place fam, and it is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day. Uh, we are all in me, <laughs> Mr. BJ, Marvin, Cookie, Jalen, and we are rolling for the four vehicles. We headed to the beach, so when we get there, I'll bring you all along.
up. <laughs> Taking it in. So we have a little compound of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 chairs. No, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we have a little compound here of 12 chairs and six umbrellas. That's keeping us shaded. And uh, most of them now are down there. But before we left the Airbnb, my niece and daughter and I think sisters and stuff, they made sandwiches. So we have sandwiches, chips, and water. So that's what we're having a snack on while we're at the beach. And then later on, we'll get something to eat. How you doing, mister? Good. It's actually a nice breeze going on right now. Yeah. So there is Miss Jack. Oh, you found your knee on these shells. Yeah. Okay. I got bad things. Lay on the board. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> She's eating her fruit. She already had her, you had what? Steak and corn. She had steak and corn. Mexican corn? Yes. 
without okay. the mayonnaise. Without the mayonnaise. Lyric is eating wings and looks like cheese sticks and slushies and she gonna have the bubble gut. <laughs> What you have? I had everything. <laughs> Cam. Thank you, thank you. Stacy got a bowl. D got a. I got a whole lot of everything. A whole lot of got everything. Got a little gumbo. Got some gumbo. Gumbo. Okay. I'm gonna try this little gumbo. Jalen got a. Seafood boil. Seafood boil. Mr. Has. What did you have? I have fishing. You want fishing. Fish and, fishing what? Fish and onion rings. Fish and onion rings. Rob had wings. I got wings. And onion rings. And a Sprite. Shay got. Shay, look. Shay ready. <laughs> She got her gloves on and everything. She got a seafood boy, y'all. Yeah. Shrimp, egg, sausage, and crab legs. Shrimp, egg, sausage, and crab leg. And Ashlyn and Austin Hola. <laughs> has a big old and AG. The 192 best festival to be exact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all got mm -hmm. muscles. How they taste? We got mussels. Oh, this is good. good. Really? We got clams. Clams. Mussels. Crawfish. Corn. Ooh. Crab, crab eggs. Corn. Oh. Okay. And eggs. Okay. Ah. AG. Eggs. Scallops. Mm-hmm. Uh, shrimp. Mm-hmm. Corn. Okay. All righty. Everybody get it. Albert, what did you have? He had wings. Cindy didn't get nothing. I, said I don't know what door it's got. Sorry, everything looks messy, but we just went out and got food. After we got back from the from Cocoa Beach, we went out and got food and brought it here. So some of have already taken their showers and stuff. And I'm about to take my shower after I eat. Then we'll be ready for game night. Okay. Elena's waiting on her food. Jordan and Isaiah went to Steak and Shake. And Bree. <laughs> Has a chicken wing in her mouth. Bree, hey Breland, over here. Breland, over here. Hi. <laughs> and we have not forgotten about the case of Annette. <laughs> so Isaiah has cracked the code. He thinks he has cracked. That AG is behind the dog. Behind the dog popping up. Wait, I just How did I just send the text to myself and to y'all? How did I just send the text to myself and y'all and be on the phone? The second number that you got. What second number? How did I do it? So we're about to play spoons, y'all. And let me make sure that I have it correct. You're going to give Dale five cards. They're going to pass the card. She's going to look and discard the card. You can only hold five cards in your hand at a time. So when you it's say like three of a kind, you're saying what? Three, like three, 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 and you gotta, you gotta say spoons first and grab. Three, three. So you can't, you can't three say. Oh, 
We also go the other way. Okay. Because it's not fair that they get the cards all the way around. And I ain't always got to be the business. That's the other thing. Yeah, you just start to pay. Are you going to give me about two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Hey, Angel! Oh, she's nervous over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Boom! 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 Right, you gotta like no words. Hey, hey. Say so, on the Oh, we got war scars. Jalen is missing two nails. <laughs> and two and a possible. Two and a possible, and she has S P O O. <laughs> Only Reese, Austin, and AG does not have a letter okay. yet. Okay. Stacy's dealing with it. She's getting better. <laughs> Also, to give everybody a fair reach, we are switching every three card game. So, in there, so we all move one space over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. That corner is a joke. No, you're not best. Wow. That's all everybody's saying right now, man. You always got to move. Alright guys, we're about to play a game, so I'll let y'all in on the instructions. Alright, this means you are the there's a king of spades. The rest of the cards are just numbers. So, okay. It's on Killing the wings. Ah, got it. They just put their hand down? Okay. Okay, let me explain the game real quick because uh, I didn't want to say the name of the game too much because YouTube will pick up on something that it's really not. It's just a game and it's called um, basically laying people out and if you get caught being winked at, you have to go ahead and lay your head down on the table and you cannot tell anyone who the winker is. And if somebody catches you though, catches the winker winking at someone, they can call him out. But the person that's being winked at cannot call the person out, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, this is one of our second favorite games. We usually play it in the dark, and it's kind of hard to see the person winking, and it's just really fun. We can't see that. I know the man. No. Turn your uh, all right, all right, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. But there's somebody over here though. They all uh, you can't say all that. It's BJ. She's in the church. Is it true? Put the money on it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, if it's not, then it's money. Ah, oh, BJ was there. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's conclusion on who Annette's puppet master is.
I can't wait to tell you, but I want you to guess first. Is it Doris? Is it A.G., B.J., Rob, Reese, Jalen, or Isaiah? The first person who guesses it right below wins a prize. And is Annette really gone this time? <laughs> Stay tuned.